Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our playthrough of Dinkum. And we are now on day 41 of our playthrough, day 13 of Autumn. Let's just quickly switch up our, uh, our get up here. Uh, maybe something like this. Not bad. And I think it's time to start the day. Now in the previous episode, there wasn't a lot that we did, but uh, we did finally craft the wheat mill in preparation for any harvest that might happen sometime soon. Now I am just eyeing the corn over there because uh, I've just noticed little bits of sparkles and uh, yeah, as I suspected, it does look like we can harvest some of the corn today, uh, which is really awesome actually. So this is technically our first ever harvest. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, just grab all of the, the corn and then we'll start the day. Very good. So what was that? We've got eight corn now. That's a... Uh, Oh, actually, sorry. Make that 10. <laughs> All right, not a bad first harvest. And I'm guessing maybe in another two days, we might get harvest from all of the other crops that we have. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. Now, one thing that I sort of uh, was worried about and then soon forgot about was the fact that we don't have any scarecrow around to chase off those birds if they tried to steal some of our crop. So yeah, um, still not entirely sure where we're going to find a scarecrow or how to construct a scarecrow. Uh, hopefully the game will point us in the right direction sometime soon. Uh, anyway, going to try and make some breakfast and uh, we do need to feed Choco and um, Mog, so we will do that shortly. In terms of what we're going to get up to today, I figure we should just try to make as much money as we can and then uh, try and pay off that debt because I don't think we have too much more to go. And that might be a pretty good plan for the day. One other thing that I was thinking of doing was uh, to construct, I think it was like a barn or something like that because, uh, yeah, I'm keen on having uh, some new animals and I believe one of the types of animals that you can get is those uh, vombats. Uh, not entirely sure if that's where we're going to be getting our milk from, but anyway, <laughs> we will find out. Speaking of... Uh, I'm also just a little bit worried about the food situation for the chooks because we don't have much left. Uh, looks like Franklin is in town. Uh, let's speak to John first though before we uh, speak to Franklin. Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? Alright, let's sell our stuff. Now I'm not sure if Theo has an eel for the museum yet, so we'll hang on to that one, uh, but we will sell everything else. Uh, that looks good. Yeah, maybe we'll hang on to the corn for now. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, as I was saying, maybe we should hang on to the corn and, uh, yeah, hopefully we can sort of figure out what to do with it, whether or not there are any uh, recipes worth uh, making with it. Let's have a chat with Theo. Hey Theo. Welcome to the museum. What can I do for you? Got a donation. Uh, well, I guess he does have a, <laughs> a short fin eel. So, scrap that. 
we will uh, go to John and sell that eel in a moment. Now, we were just saying, I think just yesterday, how we haven't seen um, Franklin for a while. Uh, and here he is. <laughs> so let's give him uh, all of our shiny discs. Uh, yes. Uh, I have shiny discs for you. Excellent. Those shiny discs have very interesting information on them. There you go. These are fascinating. I can learn a lot from these. I'll offer you 44,000 for them. Damn, that's a lot of money. <laughs> so, yeah, shiny disc are the way to go, I reckon, um, if we can find more of them. The question is whether or not um, there's actually anything else you can do with shiny disc. Now, I have important information to extract. Each one of these shiny discs could contain a wealth of knowledge. Hmm. Oh, I have a great idea for a new invention. Please come and speak to me if you're interested. Absolutely. Um, so let's see if he can make anything for us. Anything worthwhile, that is. Quarry. Put minerals out from deep below. Ah, oh, pull minerals out from deep below. Hmm, interesting. So, maybe it just... Uh, gives you random ores or something? Maybe? Uh, a gacha machine. If you place money in it, who knows what you'll get. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. We've got vehicles, a jet ski, so a bike for the water, and a motorbike. Wow, okay. I'm really interested in this one, but it's 80,000. Uh, so it's between this and paying off the debt. <laughs> um, let's see, what do we have here? Repair kit, tiki torch, okay. Uh, let's check the debt situation 92,000 okay maybe we can do all right let's do 20,000 for now and I'm gonna treat myself to a new motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> Hey Fletch. Hello there, Blue. What can I do for you? Let's see if she needs anything done. Oh, that reminds me. Have you got any furniture you don't need anymore? If you've got any furniture you don't want anymore, be sure to bring it to me. Okay. Not really sure if we do have any furniture we don't want, but anyway. Um... Okay, so it looks like she's closed today. That's okay. Crafting request. Collect eight palm wood fences. Bring those fences to rain. Okay. Got three days to do it. That's alright, plenty of time. Let's actually talk to her and see if she needs anything else done. What a nice breezy day. Have a job for me? Hey, would it be too much trouble for you to catch a bluefish? You can usually catch bluefish in the southern oceans this time of year. No probs. Okay, so southern ocean... So we will go there, but before we do... Yeah, I'm just gonna buy that bike. So... Uh... Yes? I'll have you make something, my friend. Oh, okay. Um, so I actually need to give him all this stuff. Right, okay. So we need old gears, springs, iron bars, old contraptions, and old wheels. Ooh, okay. And it's already 12 o'clock. Uh, 
let's see what we can find here. So old gears. Uh, we need a few more. Ooh, we've got more shiny disc. Uh, old contraptions. Oh, we've got a couple of old wheels here. Okay, that's good. Um, we need iron bars. Oh, we've got five iron bars too. Yes. And five springs. Yes. Do we have everything? I think we do. Oh, man. <laughs> Nice. So, you're interested in my motorbike. It'll be a very handy to have, I can, assure you, uh, I can assure you. Now, to make that item, I will require the components and 80,000 dink. I'll also require a day or so to make it. Do we have an agreement? Absolutely. I'll bring... Uh, so, sorry, I will begin right away. It will probably take all night, but I assure you it will be ready tomorrow. Now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Nice. Uh, I will give him more of those uh, discs, though. Oh, Blue, I'm actually quite busy right now. I have to get this project done by tomorrow. Is there something you need? Um, I've got those discs for you. These are fascinating. I can learn a lot from these. I'll offer you 62,000 for them. Nice. Okay, so maybe he can make some more stuff for us now, but uh, I don't think we can actually talk to him about making anything else for now. Let's see if he wants anything. A cooked prime meat. Okay. Cool. Uh, cooked prime meat. That's probably going to be pretty easy to do. Uh, okay, so... I'll probably take it to the barbecue at home, and we can cook it there. Uh, and, you know, we need to catch a bluefish. Uh, did we talk to John about anything he needs? Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? Do you need anything? My belly's grumbling. Could I ask you to find me fish and chips? I'd really owe you one. Alright, well, I don't think that's happening, but <laughs> uh, one of these days we'll uh, learn how to make it. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the first step really is uh, figuring out the flake mystery, right? So, I still don't know where to find flake. But let's cook up this raw prime meat for now. And actually might cook the raw giant uh, drumstick as well while we're here. Nice. Okay. So we'll go to Franklin with that. Okay, it looks like the larger pieces of meat definitely take a longer time, despite it being uh, in the barbecue. Yeah, this one's taking a very long time. There we go. Alright. Uh, I think it might be a good idea just to make our way south first. See if we can catch the bluefish and also catch anything that's along the way. Oh, I totally forgot. Uh, didn't I? But uh, we broke our net yesterday, so that's why we don't really have a lot of insects. So we uh, we did some fishing instead. But I've totally forgotten to buy a new uh, net. So let's just quickly do that. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, very good. So let's chuck the bug net in. All right, just setting off. Hopefully we can come back before six o'clock, sell all of our stuff to John, and then, yeah, maybe repeat the process and hopefully we'll be able to make quite a bit of money today. Uh, but we're already on, what, 60,000 or so, and I don't think we're that far off to pay off the debt, to be honest, so uh, we might actually get it done today. Not a bad day, to be honest, um, and I'm super excited about having a motorcycle to be able to get around the island a little bit quicker. That might actually improve our um, our earnings on a daily basis as well if we can you know go out and come back faster. Now the question is going to be whether or not it takes some form of fuel as well. We'll have to find out. Alright, very good. Uh, I think we have to sort of circle around, don't we? Oh, actually no, we are almost there. It's good. Just keeping an eye out for, um, for bottle brush as well, because uh, uh, you never know when people might need some bottle brush, you know, to complete those quests. Um, I suppose there wouldn't be too much around here. We do sort of need the pine wood areas. Um, where are we? Okay, uh, so we should be able to start seeing some bluefish around here. Hopefully, it won't take us too long to find one. Okay, that croc is a little bit close. <laughs> eyeing that pearl back there <laughs> but uh, those two big sharks are uh, looking very scary Ooh, yeah <laughs> now sharks in real life definitely terrify me guys um, not gonna lie um, and I'm not much of a swimmer. Not seeing those bluefish anywhere. Maybe it might actually be a good idea to move away from these two shark because maybe they're keeping some of the fish away. So let's head out this way. Maybe we might have a bit more luck. Oh, actually, sorry, is that a bluefish? Might be. 
Yes. Oh, it doesn't look blue from uh, from where we are, but uh, as soon as you take it out of the water, uh, it does have that distinct blue color. Nice. Okay. I think uh, we're almost running out of time, so we better make it back. Uh, hopefully we get there before John closes his shop, but uh, we shall see. Okay, he didn't notice us. That's good. <laughs> I was... Uh, I was thinking I was about to regret making that jump, but uh, we're still alive. That's good. <laughs> Can't wait to try out that bike when we get it. sure guys I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to make it back in time five minutes more like five seconds for us right <laughs> oh man okay now we definitely is not gonna make it bugger all right um, that's okay. Look, uh, we can definitely sell all of the stuff off um, tomorrow morning anyway. Uh, let's just take a look at one of those uh, assignments that we picked up from the bulletin board. Um, this is the one, right? Crafting request. So eight palm wood fence. So I'm not sure how many palm woods are required for one fence, but uh, I reckon that could be our next goal for the day, just to get the requisition completed. That way we can make a little bit more money today and hopefully that'll be enough to pay off the debt. sort of um, underestimated the distance there um, but uh, hopefully having the motorcycle is actually going to help us with that you know speed up the process of getting uh, getting us from um, those foraging or fishing areas uh, to make it back in time before John closes his shop every day Also trying to be mindful of uh, our inventory here because I don't want to be too chocker block full of stuff because we need to be able to do stuff tonight um, make sure that we've got enough space to actually get things done uh, there are a few things that we're probably gonna put away into storage so we could probably still um, Fill the entire inventory up. Okay, very good. Any other fish? I see something over there. Uh, I'm not liking how that croc is getting a bit close, so <laughs> let's uh, move away.
very good. I was just about to say, uh, you know, the <laughs> the dingo looked like it was uh, possibly going to steal our fish there. I wonder if the developer might uh, consider adding an update where the dingoes, you know, actually try to, you know, catch some of the fish that you're trying to fish as well. Um, pinch it off your hands, you know. Okay, we are maxed. Let's go back. And uh, let's hand over the prime meat to Franklin and then we can put a few things away and then start making those fences that uh, rain wants. Oh, I almost forgot guys, but we also need to water all of our crops as well. Bloody hell, I was <laughs> too excited about actually having some harvest, but uh, we actually still need to water all of the crops uh, before we finish the day. Hey Franklin. Good evening. Here you go. Ah, so you found cooked prime meat. Sure did. Business pants. Pants for business. Cool. Let's check that out. Hmm. Looking very, uh... Official? Is the right word, maybe? <laughs> for the lower half, anyway. Uh... Alright. Let's... Put a few things that we don't need away. Uh, so we had old contraptions, old gears, uh, anything else we can put away. I think that's it. So let's grab the palm wood. Don't suppose we have any palm wood planks? No. Alright. Let's uh, also track. Oh, hang on, hang on. Picket fence, picket gate. But what we need is palm wood fences. Hmm. Darn, okay. Doesn't look like we even have the option to <laughs> craft palm wood fences right now. Uh, we've got the palm wood bridge. I wonder what we need for palm wood fences. We might need a new license for that. Uh, the other thing is, I don't know how many palm wood uh, planks are going to be required for those palm wood fences, to be honest. So we may actually need to source some more palm wood uh, very soon. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Um, we can turn in the bluefish to rain, at the very least. I like, don't really love the dark. Anyway, what's up, Blue? There you go. Alright, what did we get? A dainty ottoman for feet. Hmm, okay. Better that, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that very soon. I think 
considering it is already 10 o'clock, we don't really have too much more time in the day, I think we can probably... Mm, I was gonna say we could probably go out and... Um, cut down some palmwood logs, but... Maybe we can keep that for tomorrow. Uh, for now, just want to see how this ottoman looks. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't think that's exactly what we have in mind for the house, so... Uh, but conveniently, we can probably give this to Fletch. She did say she wanted a new piece of furniture, right? So, let's do that. And uh, I think for the rest of the day, we'll probably be spending the time watering our crops, and we might call it a night. Yeah, still just uh, unsure about those palm wood fences and how we're gonna complete that request. Hey Fletch. Another day coming to an end. I'll tell you what, they go fast at my age. This is for you. Long shoes. Hard to flip in. Okay. Um, let's see what this is all about. <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> uh, they look like they're diving shoes, actually. I wonder if they would help you with, uh, with diving. I'm just gonna test it out right now. Uh, yeah, I feel like you were actually moving a little bit faster. Let me just... Let me just, uh... Switch that up. And let's just test that again. Still looks like it's uh, about the same speed, to be honest. Darn. I was hoping they were like, you know, diving flippers or something, you know. Um, that's all right. We can <laughs> we can keep a pair of long shoes, uh, and we can give it to someone who might want it. Go. Uh, all right. Hmm. Well, I think we're about to call it a night, guys. I'm just gonna quickly fill up the water can and water all of the crops. But I think that's gonna have to be it. Wow. That takes up tons of stamina, doesn't it? I mean, watering plants doesn't really take a toll, does it? <laughs> yeah, we have almost passed out right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna quickly work our way back to town, put a few things away uh, just to free up our in inventory for the morning. So I might I might cut back to when we get back to the house and finish off our watering guys. So I'll see you soon. Oh, 
Okay, guys. I think that's about it. I think that's all of our crops. So, yeah. Uh, as I said, going to call it a night. But, yeah, it's been an interesting day. We spoke to Franklin and he agreed to create a motorcycle for us. So, I'm super excited about seeing a new motorcycle. Presumably, it'll arrive tomorrow. Uh, not sure if that means Franklin is staying for an extra day or... Perhaps maybe it might be sent to us um, in the mail. But we'll soon find out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.